Hey guys, welcome back to Creators of the Lost Art. My name is Ron, and today I have another problem. Namely, the price of animal feed. And I don't know if it's due to inflation or supply and demand or, or whatever it is, but the price of animal feed is significantly more than it was this time last year. And our farm has grown significantly. So the, the amount that we're spending on feed uh, has, has gone up by quite a bit. The issue that I have uh, is that animals are very messy when they eat. Quail are very messy. They scatter their food all over the place. But I've solved that problem with the little feeder I built with holes in it. They have to stick their head in there and they can't uh, scatter it around as much. The pigs, however, uh, they make a mess. They are pigs. I'm feeding them in two little bowls uh, separately, of course, but feeding them in two little bowls and they just turn them over and, and scatter it all over the place and the chickens get a little bit of the, the cleanup. But I need to find a way to feed these pigs much more efficiently where they don't scatter as much food um, and it's not costing me as much to keep them fed. Unwreck it Ron style. remainder of the rabbit hutch that I purchased off of Amazon that I wasn't really pleased with. Uh, it's kind of flimsy, but it is weatherproof. And that's what I'm looking for for a feeder that's going to be outside for the pigs. Still has some good hardware hinges and such on there. Um, so I'm going to tear this apart and I'm going to use the pieces off of it to build a weatherproof feeder that the pigs can open the lid, eat, and uh, keep from scattering so much food around. And then it closes to keep the feed dry. Uh, whenever they're not eating. Still has good hardware, so I'm going to utilize everything that I can off of it. And I'm going to get to tearing this apart. my pieces taken apart and if you can use a little bit of imagination if I cut this here where that would be on the bottom has a little bit of an angle here this will be the door that that they can uh, pick up with their nose to get their head in there to eat and then we'll take these pieces and these will be the sides like this one on each side and I'll have to put something probably this on the back and on the front and then I'll have a lid for the top Find something to put in the bottom, probably put it on a piece of treated lumber uh, to be right on the ground, but then we'll have us a double barrel pig feeder, I hope.
All right, so I got my two side pieces. Um, unfortunately, with the limited amount of uh, this lumber that I have, I'm only gonna be able to make this thing 18 inches wide, which is gonna give each pig roughly eight and a half by nine inches of room to get their heads in there. So it'll work for the first year, but I'll have to remake it to make it bigger uh, as, as they grow. But I've gotta cut all these pieces uh, to go across from here to there on the front and the back. And I'm gonna have to find something to put a bottom in it and then make the, the lid to keep the water out and the two lids for them to raise up. And already I'm thinking that it's gonna look pretty good. So I got in the, the front and the back. I'm just using three quarter inch uh, staples on this. Staple it on there, then I'm gonna come back and put a piece of trim here and here, probably with some screws that'll help hold all that together. It's gonna have, you know, probably close to 50 pounds of feet in here, so it may bulge out the sides a little bit. You gotta be real careful about not uh, exploding the front off of it. But the next step is to put a ramp from the back to the front here so that it directs the food out to to this trough area this will have the hinge lid that raises up still got to put the front so you can see the front from here to here and a little bottom in it but so far so good so i got this piece cut out and I mired it a 45 here, and this turned out to be like a 41, 42 degree angle. So that allows it to slide and, sorry, notch the sides here for these little uh, braces. That allows it to slide up in there. I can send some screws in or staples in through the back. And it'll also be attached on the sides. And then for my bottom piece, I can cut that angle and slide it in right here. It'll be a nice... Uh, solid fit. I'll have a little gap on this side that I'll have to seal up with some caulk just so the food doesn't fall through there. But let me get this attached. <laughs> So I use these painted one by sixes that I had torn apart from a bookshelf that I built years ago. Put the painted side to the out because that will just help protect it a little bit more from the weather. It won't last forever. Uh, they're gonna outgrow this anyway, but I've gotta get something built pretty quickly. So now I've gotta get the little hinge top part that hinges up. I left a little bit of a gap right here so that they can we we'll help them get their nose under it so they can raise it up with their heads and then reach over in there and get some food. And then a uh, hinge lid for the top. Be all done. Maybe some trim. Just 
to help hold this on. All right, so it's the next day. I had to glue in. I had to glue in a little piece of. I had to rip down a little piece of three eighths wood because this was hollow. I do want to keep the asphalt or the roofing type material uh, so that that rain, if it does get any rainwater, it'll just run off. The top that I build on is going to overhang this, so unless it's blowing rain in from the side, maybe it won't get down in there where the feet is. Got to put this hinge part on, build a lid, and we'll be complete. All right, so I left a, an inch and a half distance right here so that the, the pigs can take their nose underneath it. They can push it up, they can reach in there, grab a bite of food, and they pull their head back. And they're not going back and forth side to side like they normally do or pushing their bowl over and spilling a bunch of food. So hopefully this will save us food and be able to store a lot more in there without having to uh, you know, feed them twice a day. They'll be able to just eat as much as they want, grow as, big as they can quickly as possible and maybe have some bacon soon. We gotta get on the top. Okay, so I gotta fix this piece of tin on this piece of plywood that's hinged. It'll open up like this and the little lip will stop it from coming all the way open. And then the lip, the lip off the front here will help protect that part down there. Unfortunately, I only found four roofing screws in my box of junk back there, so I'll just have to make this work. Quick and simple, automatic pig feeder. It even matches my house with the green roof and the gray siding. Roof hinges up, stays open. Fill it up full of feed. The hungry piggies come in, yum, 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 yum. Lift this up with their nose, stick their heads in, big bite of food. This closes back automatically. Easy, easy. Now we just gotta see if they can use it. Okay, so I've had the pig feeder out here for a couple of days now. 
Uh, I've seen them uh, several times using it, uh, and all three of them for now can fit in it. But yeah, you can see they've been eating in there pretty good. We had some pretty good rain uh, two nights ago, and the feed is still relatively dry. Little spot in the corner here that's damp, but that might have been because the wind was blowing so hard. I'm gonna put some more feed in there. They like it. I hope you guys liked it too. Um, hit the like button, subscribe. Till next time, make something out of something else. What do you call a pig with three eyes? Pe eh, 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 eg.